All right, I'm gonna show you your money saving tip for vegetable gardening. First, we're gonna talk about hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So technically, you're supposed to drink your body weight pound per ounce of water. And you have to do it the day before you start working outside. So let's just say I'm 100 and something pounds and this is 16.9 ounces. So technically, I should be drinking about 10 of these a day to stay hydrated. You can do the math from there. So here's your tip. You know, we went and bought that little six pack of tomatoes and it was about $4, $4.50. But you can actually take this for $3 and just take one out. You're gonna just slice it a little and let the seeds get out. And put it here in just your potting soil. And just kind of lay it around in there. And this will actually make tomato plants galore. If you want the bigger ones, you can do the same thing. Just slice a little piece off here. And I'm talking about you're going to have enough tomato plants for you, your neighbors, your friends, your family, everybody. See all those seeds in there? Same thing. We're just going to lay it in here. And I kind of like this method because if you can, it's easy to water. I put mine right by my front porch where they get pretty sun so I can water them every day. It doesn't need to be a deep pot because you only need like four inches of root and then you can transplant them out. Um, if it's you're gonna have a cold snap, which is not good for tomatoes, then you can actually just put it in your garage or bring it inside for the night and the next day just put it out. So you can cover it, you don't even have to. That's all you gotta do there and you just water it in. Another thing is a lot of seeds are expensive. They're getting more and more. So at the end of our season, we kind of collect cucumber seeds, Purple whole pea seeds are pretty expensive and they're our favorite. So we just took some peas that were left at the bottom of the season, shelled them out, kept them in a paper bag all winter inside in a cool dry place, which is my junk drawer. And now we've got seeds ready to plant. When you buy them, that's what you buy is old peas. So there's a couple of tips for you. I mean, right here, we're gonna have a gazillion of everything for mm, $3. And this is the result of the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes that we cut up and put in there. Look at that. I told you you'd have enough for your friends and family and neighbors. A gazillion. So we'll transplant those up and give them away. Thanks for watching Mama's Weeds and happy gardening.